Okay, so we are on science, salt water, and fresh water day two. So it's the same slides from yesterday. We just added a few more onto it, okay? Okay, Mohana, you may go. You have one minute, okay? Thank you for waiting. Make sure your mask is up. Mohan and mask, thank you. Yes, Dylan? Okay. So I'll start reading the learning target. We're on this slide, okay? We have Chromebook. Okay, pero mira, mira los demás. No estás preparado como los demás. Okay. Before we work on the slides, we're going to go over the learning target and then we're going to do a little activity. Thank you. Open your Chromebook and log in. I don't know. On the floor. Log in. Okay. So our learning target for today. Today we will learn about the characteristics of salt water and fresh water so that we can determine if a water source is salt or fresh water. I will know that I have it when I can sort water sources into salt or fresh water based on their characteristics. Okay, so I have two. So we're doing like a little table right here. So this one says salt water, and this side says fresh water. And there are some pieces of strips of paper around the classroom. And we're gonna go in order from in starting with Muhammad. You're gonna pick one around the room. You're going to read it, and then I want you to come place it over here if you think it is salt water or a fresh water characteristic, okay? Okay? Is everybody on the slides? So it has the big learning target and it says day two. It should be, does it look like this? 10, slide 10. Okay, Mohane, go ahead and look around the room and find a strip of paper. You find one? Good. Okay, come up here and read it. Oh, put your mask on, please. Thank you. The rest of you can start looking to see where there's some more. Okay, so ah, sit down. I didn't say grab it. Thank you. Okay, read it out loud to the class. Fresh water used by most living organisms, organisms. as their source for water. Okay, so is that a characteristic for salt water or fresh water? Okay, do you agree? Let's put it there then. Okay, Ariana, your turn. Go find one. Go find one of these around the classroom. Yes. Quickly. That's why I said the rest of you start looking so you see where they're at. Good, Ariana. Okay, read it out loud. Okay, so is that a fresh salt water, water or fresh water fresh characteristic? Water. Okay, take a guess. Okay. Okay, Noah, go find one. We might even have to do two turns sometimes, some people. Okay. There is a lot. Quickly. <laughs> okay, read it out loud. Some living things can live in salt water, like the ocean. The saltier the water, the less living things can survive in it. Salt water. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, Thomas, go find one. I can't see. Um, good, Thomas. I was about to say, can you reach it? Okay, so what do you think? Salt water or fresh water? It's a river. Fresh water. Okay, Emma? Good. Okay, so what do you think? Salt water or fresh water? Okay, Dylan? Eliana, tapa roupa? Quickly, come on. Run! Okay, fresh water is naturally occurring water that has very low amounts of dissolved salts. Fresh water. Fresh water. Okay, Dylan, fresh water, or salt water or fresh water? Fresh water. Fresh? Okay, Dylan, go find one. Go find one. Okay, sit down. Hey, hey, you. Hey, you. Alias. Okay, Bo, go ahead and get yours. Okay, it is estimated that 4 billion tons of dissolved salts are carried to the ocean each year. Okay, what do you think? Salt water or fresh water? Fresh water. Yes. Dylan, that was not necessary. Put your mask on. Okay, Bo. With an outlet, the water and fresh water sources can come in and and move come in and out or or move through. So fresh water. Okay. Alejandro. Okay, hey, eyes are up here. You're not typing anything. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Right there. Go. Oh. Okay, Alejandro. Go find one. Okay, Alejandro. Go find one. Okay. Do you want to read it? Rain is not salty because salt does not. Yeah. How is it? Evaporate. Evaporate from fans. Okay, so rain is not salty. So fresh water or salt water? Fresh water or salt water? Salt water. Okay. I think there's two more. So this one. So salt water is also called seawater. It contains dissolved salts. And it's sometimes called saline water. Salt water or fresh water? Salt water. Okay, salt water lakes and the ocean collect all the dissolved salts and minerals from the rivers flowing into the... Salt water. All right, so as we're going through our slides, um, we might need to move some of these around, okay? All right, so now let's go on. So, did we get these right? Oops. Okay, did we get them right? Salt water and fresh water facts. Ready? Salt water is also called seawater. It contains dissolved salts and is sometimes called saline water. Did we get that one right? Salt water is also called seawater. Yep, right here. Okay. No outlet. The water in salt water sources can come in but doesn't have a way out. Did we get that one right? Yep, here it is. 
Eyes are up here, Dylan. When a water source doesn't have an outlet, it means that any salts and minerals dissolved in the water build up because they can't get flushed out. Did we get that one right? Is this one? Yep. Good. Last one. Okay, some living things can live in salt water like the ocean. The saltier the water, the less living things can survive in it. Did we get that one right? Yes. Good, thank you Noah for helping us keep track. Thomas eyes up here. Okay, salt water lakes and the ocean collect all of the dissolved salts, the minerals from the rivers flowing into them, and minerals. Did we get that one right? Was that the last one? I think so. Okay. It is estimated that 4 billion tons of dissolved salts are carried to the ocean each year. Did we get that one? No, no. We didn't get this one, so we're missing this one, okay? Yeah. All right, next one, ready? Fresh water. Oh, there's another one back there. Can you go get a bowl? Thank you. Well, oh, you have the answer, don't you? Okay, well, Paul's getting that one, I'll keep reading. Fresh water, fresh water is naturally occurring water that has very low amounts of dissolved salts. Did we get that one? Fresh water is naturally occurring water. Okay, when a water source has an outlet, it means that any salts and minerals dissolved in the water don't build up because they can get flushed out. What is it? It's fresh water. When a water source has an outlet, which means it can escape. Well, now we know about that one. Okay. Did we? So it has an outlet. The fresh water sources can come in and out or move through. Fresh has an outlet right here. Did we get it right? Good. When a water source has an outlet, it means that any salts and minerals dissolved in the water don't build up because they can get flushed out. That's the one we just said, right? Fresh water is used by most living organisms as their source for water. Fresh water, this one? Yeah. Good, about that one. Rivers can carry dissolved salts and minerals away from a lake. Rivers can carry dissolved salts and minerals away from a lake. Yeah, we got that one. Okay. Rain is not salty because salt does not evaporate to form clouds. No, I don't think we got that one right. This one? Yeah. So we need to move this one over here, right? Yeah. Okay, did we miss one? And this one, where does this one go? On the other side. On the other side, on the salt water side. Okay, we were close, right? Good. Okay, next one, ready? Okay. So, sorry. Part one. So read the information on the salt water and the fresh water facts. So this last one. And fill in the table below as you read the facts about salt water and fresh water sources. Okay? So what are, what are the three most important facts or features of salt water sources? So which one do you think are the three most important ones that we should put here? What are the three most important ones that we should write down? So you 
should be looking on your screen on the last slide for three of the most important salt water facts for us to write down in the first part right here. Do we do those ones that we do like yesterday? Okay, so what's one fact that we should write down? Fact to write down? Yeah, so you'll write salt water fact one. Dylan, you're looking at your screen, you're not looking at any other. Okay? So pick one, pick one of these facts. Which one do you think is the most important? Salt water is also called seawater. No outlet. The water in salt water sources can come in but doesn't have a way out. People back. Hold on. When a water source doesn't have an outlet, it means that any salts and minerals dissolved in the water build up because they can get flushed out. They can't get flushed out. Some living things can live in salt water like the ocean. The saltier the water, the less living things can survive in it. Salt water lakes and the ocean collect all of the dissolved salts and minerals from the rivers flowing into them. It is estimated that 4 billion tons of dissolved salts are carried to the ocean each year. So which one do you think? Which one do you think is the most important, Dylan? Dylan? This one? When a water source doesn't have an outlet, it means that any salts and minerals dissolved in the water build up because they can't get flushed out. Do you agree with Dylan? Should we write this one down as fact number one? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure, let's do it. Yes, Simeon. Huh? Okay, which one? No one? No one? This one? This one? Right here? Okay. So Elian says we should write that one for fresh water, and Dylan says we should write that one for salt water. Okay, so go ahead and write it down under. The salt water fact one and fresh water fact one. Ready, go. Still recording? Yes, it's still recording. Go. Okay, write it in. So type it in. For salt water fact number one. When a water source doesn't have an outlet, type it in. Comma. It means that
water, lakes, and oceans collect all the dissolved salts. I think this is important to know for why salt water is so salty. I think this is important to know as well because it talks about saline water. Fresh water. 
fresh water is naturally occurring water that has very low amounts of dissolved salts. It has an outlet. Oh. Actually, um, I think this is important to know as well. Yes, behind it. Can now Okay, if you have at least one or two facts written down, um, we'll go ahead and move on in about 60 seconds. Yes, you can. Okay, 30 seconds. What? 30 seconds of what? Uh, we're shredding down the fresh water. You can write down this one. Fresh water is used by most living organisms. Keep going. You're just taking. Your fingers where they go so you can check faster. Okay. Okay. It's still in your slides, okay? All right. Ready? Dylan, that's not what you do with the combo. Thank you. Okay. Ready? Next one. So flip over to the next slide. So we're going to read about several types of water sources. Based on the information provided here, we're going to take a guess about whether it is a salt water or a fresh water and why we think that. So we want evidence that is supporting our decision, okay? So you are typing this in. So Mohana, ready to write open lake. Okay, so we're on open lake, right? So we know an open lake is a body of water surrounded by land. We know that the water and eyes over here, eyes on your screen or eyes on my screen, please. Water enters the lake from rain, snow, melting ice, streams slash rivers, and groundwater. Mohana. Hello. Hi, I'm learning this too. We know that open lakes has an outlet, meaning that water can also leave by a river or other means. Okay, so based on what we know from our table for salt water characteristics and fresh water characteristics, does an open lake have salt water or fresh water? Think about it. Thomas, are you thinking? Okay. Dylan, what do you think? You think it's fresh water? Okay, so now what is your reasoning for that? Okay, does anybody think it's not fresh water? You think it's fresh water, Mohana? Okay, why do you think it's fresh water? What about this is telling us that it's fresh water? 
So it has a it has an outlet and water enters from it. Okay. Oh. That it has an outlet. That's why you think it's fresh water because it has an outlet. Okay, uh, Ariana. Okay, so fresh water because typing, Mohammed writing, Dylan typing in the square. Uh huh. Alian got it. We'll look for the slide that looks like this. Found it. Fresh water because the open lake has an outlet. Period. Okay, so now we'll try the second one. was teaching you guys as I was reading this one right here water enters the lake, the lake from rain snow and melting ice so when it rains that's not salt water right and the snow not that we're not you know we're not supposed to eat it you know especially you know like if it's oh we don't eat that but that's not salt water is it so when I when I walked in and I saw what you guys were learning I am like boom this is where, that's where my mind went when she asked why. I went to that. So it was interesting that you guys went to the outlet piece of it. Yes, honey? Is it bad to drink out of rainwater? Well, actually, you, you don't know what's in it. So you, it, it's, it's better to drink purified water. Yeah. Oh, probably. Yeah, and some animals. Okay. Okay, so now let's try the next one. Ready? So now an open 
ter uh, sorry, a closed terminal lake. So by reading the characteristics of it, we need to decide if it is a freshwater or a saltwater body. So a body of water that is surrounded by land. So kind of like what you call it. Water enters the lake from rain, snow, melting ice, stream slash rivers, ground water. Does not have an outlet for the water to leave other than evaporation. When the water evaporates, it leaves behind salts and minerals that were dissolved in the water. Dylan. It leaves behind salts and minerals that were dissolved in the water. Okay, so salt water or fresh water? Huh? Salt water. Okay, write it down. Salt water. Type it in. Because, comma, good, Mohammed. Elian, you got it? Okay, so now this one down here. Salt water because the, the evaporation. Thomas, sit down, please. Thomas. Thank you. Leaves behind salt, leaves behind salt and other minerals. Period. Once you've got that done, give me a thumbs up so we can move on to the next slide. Thank you for asking for later. Okay, ready? Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you, Noah. Dylan. Okay, so first you know this is fresh water, this is salt water. Then you need to put a reason why from the definitions that it gave us. Okay, next one, reservoir and rivers. Ready? Okay, a reservoir is a water storage that is man-made. It's usually, the next slide, it's usually formed by building a dam across a river or controlling the outlet of a natural lake. The amount of water in and out is controlled, used to provide water in case of drought and control flooding. Just look for the slide that says reservoir, river. Oh, I don't know. Okay, ready? So reservoir, do you think it is salt water or fresh water, Dylan? It is fresh water. Fresh water. Okay. Because why? What is one of the supporting statement that will... Thank you, Mohanan. What, what is one supporting statement that gives us that this is fresh water? Noah? Um, the water coming in and coming out is controlled. 
Okay, the water coming in. And out is control. Write it down. Type it in. Very good. Oh, I don't miss that. Okay, next one. A river. A ribbon. A ribbon like body of water that flows downhill because of gravity can be wide and deep or shallow and narrow. Has a starting point called a headwater, can start from rain, snow melt, groundwater coming to the surface or form from a lake. Okay, so salt water or fresh water? Salt water. Salt water, why, Noah? Um, because, because it's um, flowing and I got rocks, it. it's flowing, rocks have minerals in it and salt. Okay. Yeah, but I just know it. Okay, salt water. Does everybody agree? Yeah. yeah. Okay, time for that. Salt water because, comma, What's our reason? What's our supporting evidence? And, or Dylan? Uh, Which one? Uh, huh? Can start from rain and brown water. And start, oops, that's not. Yeah, can start from rain and oh my goodness, brown water. All right then, let's move on to the next slide. No, ocean and ice cap. Okay, we'll stop right there. So fill those in. Do not submit because if you click submit, you won't be able to ex er, edit it on Thursday. Okay, finish typing this in, Elian. All right. Okay, now go back to your desk. Yes. Now I can get something. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and close your phone. Good afternoon, Parkside Captain. Oh, that's not a great day today. At this time, we need any daycare students. And any bus 27 students, please make your way out the front door. Bus 27 and daycare students, we need walking feet out the front door. Okay. All right. Finish that up. Let's start cleaning up. Oh. Did you say others? Um, hold on. Okay, so my online friends today, go ahead and stop on slide 14 and then we'll finish up the rest for 
Thursday, and then do not click submit yet, but I can still check your work. Ah, there we go.